To state that good kidney health is crucial is an understatement. Healthy kidneys prevent the buildup of harmful substances in the body, maintain overall fluid balance, and subsequently blood pressure, as well as support other organs to function optimally. Unfortunately, knowingly or unknowingly, we sometimes engage in activities that are detrimental or damaging to the kidneys. So in today's video, I want to highlight seven things that can damage the kidneys. Number one is inadequate water intake. Now, I want to start with this because it is one of the easiest to fix. Not drinking enough water is often overlooked as a significant risk factor for kidney damage. However, adequate hydration is crucial for the kidneys to maintain fluid balance and filter waste and excess substances from the blood to produce urine. When the body lacks sufficient water, the volume of blood circulating through the kidneys decreases, which compromises the ability to function efficiently. Now, this can lead to increased concentration of waste products in the blood and over time, the formation of kidney stones, which are hard deposits of minerals and salts that form inside the kidneys. A study conducted in 2020 found that low fluid intake is one of the most common causes of kidney stone formation. Now, these stones not only can they cause severe pain and blockages, but they can further impair kidney function. So if you are constantly thirsty, have dark, yellow, strong smelling urine, or if you are peeing less often than usual, or if you have dry mouth, lips and tongue, and sometimes even sunken eyes, it may be your body telling you that you are not drinking enough water. It is crucial to rectify the situation to avoid any damage to your kidneys. Number two, high blood sugar levels. Now, high blood sugar commonly observed in diabetes or even sometimes pre-diabetes is one of the leading causes if not the leading cause of kidney damage. This occurs because elevated glucose levels in the blood can harm the kidneys in several ways. Firstly, it damages the nephrons. Now, nephrons are tiny blood filtering units that are extremely sensitive to blood sugar levels. Prolonged exposure to high glucose can damage these nephrons, impairing the kidney's ability to filter waste and balance fluids. Now, this condition is known as diabetic nephropathy, and unfortunately, it is a common complication of diabetes. Another consequence of high blood sugar is the formation of harmful compounds known as advanced glycation end products. We call them AGEs for short. Now, these compounds can damage the proteins in the kidneys, disrupting their normal function. Furthermore, high sugar also induces inflammation, which as we all know are contributing factors to kidney cell damage. So it goes without saying that managing blood sugar levels through diet, exercise, and medication is crucial for people with diabetes to prevent or slow the progression of kidney damage. The next one is overuse of painkillers. Now, the overuse of certain painkillers, particularly what we call non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs or NSAIDs, uh, typical examples are ibuprofen and aproxen, can lead to significant kidney damage. Now, while these medications are effective for pain relief and reducing inflammation, they can have adverse effects on kidney health when used excessively or for prolonged periods. These NSAIDs work by blocking substances in the body that cause pain and inflammation, but this process can also reduce blood flow to the kidneys. This diminished blood flow can impair kidney function, especially in individuals with existing kidney problems or at risk of kidney disease. Additionally, the use of NSAIDs can also lead to retention of sodium and water, further stressing the kidneys and potentially exacerbating conditions such as high blood pressure, which in itself is a risk factor for kidney damage. It is essential, therefore, to use these medications only as directed. Best practice is to use the lowest effective dose for the shortest duration of time possible. And by all means, talk to your doctor if long-term use is intended to minimize the risk to the kidneys. I have a video in which I go into detail about this, as well as other medications that can potentially harm the kidneys. I'll put a link in the description so you can check that video out after you finish watching this one. The next one is uncontrolled blood pressure. Now, when blood pressure remains consistently high, it puts excessive strain on the entire circulatory system, including especially the delicate blood vessels in the kidneys. Now, the kidney's role in filtering waste and excess fluids from the blood depends on a network of capillaries, which are tiny blood vessels. These capillaries are very tiny and fragile, so persistently raised blood pressure can damage them and obviously reduce the kidney's ability to filter blood effectively. Now think of it as forcing a liquid through a tiny fragile tube. The higher the pressure of the liquid in the tube, the greater the possibility of the tube rupturing or bursting and therefore compromising whatever the function the tube was supposed to perform, in this case, the kidneys. High blood pressure leads to rupturing of the capillaries, which in turn leads to compromising the kidney's ability to filter 
substances or excess waste from the body. This reduced filtering capability results in accumulation of harmful substances in the body, which can further worsen kidney damage. As kidney function declines, it becomes harder for the body to regulate blood pressure, creating a vicious cycle where hypertension perpetuates kidney damage and vice versa. Therefore, it is essential to manage your blood pressure, whether this means taking your medications as prescribed and as directed, whether it means watching your diet, whether it means exercising regularly, whichever one applies to you, make sure you are doing it to prevent kidney damage down the line. The next one is chronic or untreated infections. Now, chronic infections, especially those that affect the urinary tract, can be harmful to the kidney health. If an infection spreads to the kidneys, it can damage the kidneys. Urinary tract infections, or what we normally call UTIs, usually start in the bladder or the urethra. But if not treated properly, they can move up to the kidneys and cause a more severe infection called pyelonephritis. This condition not only causes significant discomfort and potential kidney scarring, but also it impairs the kidney's ability to function effectively. Repeated or chronic infections can lead to chronic kidney disease, which means the kidneys gradually lose their filtering capabilities. If not managed promptly, this deterioration can lead to kidney failure. Now, the risk is even especially high in people with weakened immune systems or people with pre-existing kidney conditions. Therefore, timely diagnosis and treatment of UTIs and other infections is crucial to prevent potential kidney damage and preserve overall kidney health. Now, let's talk about another interesting one, processed foods. The consumption of processed foods can adversely affect kidney health, primarily due to their high levels of salt, phosphorus, and certain additives. Processed foods such as canned soups, deli meats, and fast food items often contain excessive amounts of sodium, which is a contributory factor to hypertension, and as I just explained, which is also in itself a risk factor for kidney damage. Furthermore, these foods are rich in phosphorus, which is added to enhance flavor and promote shelf life. Foods high in phosphorus include sodas, uh, processed cheese, and some packaged snacks. Now, high intake of phosphorus can overburden the kidneys as they strive to maintain the mineral balance in the body, potentially leading to kidney disease over time. Additionally, processed foods generally offer low nutritional value and are high in unhealthy fats and sugars. This is particularly evident in products like cookies, frozen pizzas, and ready-to-eat meals. Such dietary choices contribute to obesity and diabetes, which again are established risk factors for kidney disease. To maintain optimal kidney health, it is essential to limit the intake of processed foods and to focus on a diet rich in fresh, whole foods, which are more beneficial for maintaining kidney function. And then excessive alcohol consumption. Now, it may come as a surprise that the body views alcohol as a potent toxin that needs to be filtered out of the body, a task which is primarily undertaken by the liver. However, the kidneys also play a critical role in processing and expelling the byproducts of alcohol metabolism. When alcohol is consumed in large amounts, it puts immense strain on these organs. Chronic alcohol abuse can lead to dehydration, a factor that increases the risk of developing kidney stones and other renal problems, as I discussed earlier. Furthermore, alcohol can disrupt the balance of electrolytes and fluids in the body, which are crucial for kidney function. Over time, excessive drinking can cause changes in the kidney structure and function, leading to chronic kidney disease. Now, I sure do hope you found some value in this video and you picked up at least one thing that you're going to eliminate to make sure you have good kidney health. Thank you for staying through. Stay blessed and catch you on the next video.